how risky do you feel that these types of investments are when it comes to the type of groups that you're hosting? Like, are you experiencing issues with, you know, noise and damage and overall doom and gloom and dis- and destruction in these properties? Mm-hmm. My biggest fear has always actually been somebody getting hurt even, um, but I don't worry too much about parties. I mean, I, I do, um, but we put a lot of protection at the beginning. So we actually redid our corporate structure, we redid our LLCs, our holding company, got new insurance um, and set everything up so we were completely buttoned up from like a liability standpoint as much as you can be on the corporate and insurance side. And then to take it one step past that, we have outdoor cameras, we have minute sensors, we have um, rules in our our guidebook, anything that you can put in there to then to then deter partying. But frankly, there are going to be parties. And even if it's not a party, 20 people playing cards and having a few drinks, they're going to get a little bit loud. Um, I guess what I would say is that while we do have parties, I think over the course of three years in the other property and now six months on the newer property, we've had maybe two or three issues that have amounted to four or $5,000. And those properties combined to over $100,000 a year in cash flow. 